the sin that narcissists commit that can never be forgiven by God. Have you ever felt trapped in a relationship with a narcissist or know someone who has? It can be absolutely devastating and can leave even the strongest of individuals to question their own self-worth and sanity. Narcissists have a personality disorder that makes it incredibly difficult for them to empathize with others, and they constantly seek praise and attention. Unfortunately, the damage caused to those who are involved with a narcissist can be substantial and healing from this trauma can be a long and arduous process. It's crucial to understand the inequalities of relationships with narcissists because they're notorious for not owning up to their own mistakes. Instead, they place the blame on their victims using manipulative techniques such as gaslighting. This leaves their victims questioning their own memories and can create even more emotional turmoil than before. When a narcissist is done with a victim, they have no problem tossing them aside and pretending they never existed. This can lead to a mixture of anger and confusion for the victim. It's important to remember that most narcissists don't care about others. They only see them as resources to be exploited for their own gain. Don't let yourself or someone you know fall victim to these manipulative tactics. This callous disregard for other human beings is both repulsive and incomprehensible. Today, we'll be exposing the misdeeds of narcissists and the convoluted justifications they offer for their actions. To stay in the loop and actively participate in the discussion, we encourage you to subscribe. If you're interested in deepening your understanding of narcissism, we also offer a free online course titled Narcissism 101, Early Warning Signs, Escaping the Trap, and Rebuilding Your Life. The download link is provided in the box below. Let's jump right in. To begin with, we must acknowledge that narcissists are the worst kind of people as they steamroll over everything in their path. They take advantage of other people's good qualities, such as trustworthiness and morality, to further their own goals, ultimately exploiting their weaknesses. The ability to threaten, control, and harm others is a rush for narcissists. Unfortunately, this comes with a hefty price tag. It becomes increasingly difficult to maintain clarity differentiate between truths and lies, and keep your bearings as they lead you through their destructive dance. Once you begin to see the world through the distorted lens of a narcissist, your feelings will drastically shift. And to make matters worse, narcissists have no concern for the pain they cause, the identity crisis that you may face because of them, or the harm they inflict on others. They only care about themselves and what they can gain. Manipulation, specifically the harmful strategy of gaslighting, is the second largest fault of a narcissist. Through this psychologically damaging technique, they manipulate you into believing falsehoods about what occurred, how you feel, and what constitutes reality. The key to this technique is power. They leverage your personal history to manipulate you into doing what they want, accepting their terms, and giving them what they want. Narcissists wrap their psychological grasp around you and gradually strip away your sense of self, the world, and reality, replacing it with their own twisted interpretation. And what is the end game for narcissists? It's simple. They aim to make you believe that they are always right and you are always wrong, regardless of their actual culpability or due credit. No one has the right to manipulate your life to the point where you disregard what's important and who you are as a person. The third cardinal sin of narcissists is their intentional ignorance or callous indifference towards the wants and needs of those around them. They're individuals who are entirely self-centered and believe that they deserve anything they want without thinking of the ramifications of their actions. They've convinced themselves that they don't require support from others to get by. However, you've most probably experienced circumstances where your narcissistic partner's fear of losing you forced them to make minor changes. They may have suddenly become more considerate and attentive, but why should respect, understanding, compassion, support, good intentions, love, and care only come from them when it benefits them? Think back on the moments your narcissistic partner ignored you, disregarded your desires, and dismissed your feelings. When they can't manipulate you directly, they target your reputation, which is the fourth cardinal sin. These individuals spread falsehoods about you 
and even when it becomes evident that they were wrong, they'll keep at it. Their hostile stance towards you and their need to assert their authority over you in any way possible stem from this evil plan. They don't care how much harm it causes you individually or professionally as long as it gains the support of a majority. While it can be challenging to deal with someone with anger management issues, it's critical to do so. Arguments are unavoidable in any healthy relationship, but they should be resolved and done with. Instead of preserving your reputation, they prefer to hire smear campaigners to spread lies about you. The ultimate objective of the narcissists was to alienate you so they could feel better about themselves and get revenge. It's beyond discourteous, and it speaks volumes about their true character. The fifth cardinal sin of narcissists is having multiple affairs concurrently, including one with you while attempting to keep it hidden. It's extremely painful when narcissists deliberately lie and deceive you, thinking that once you find out, you'll be at fault. It's the worst kind of maliciousness imaginable, and it's almost unimaginable it could become worse. Betrayal is never easy to deal with, and it hurts even more when the betrayer has narcissistic tendencies because they embellish the truth and make it impossible to decipher what's genuine, destroying not only your trust, but also any good experiences you had together. It might seem like an illusion when you return to reality after escaping the situation. The truth comes to light, yet the pain of betrayal can linger for a long time. Those who have been deceived may never recover from the trauma of having their trust broken. The sixth cardinal sin of narcissists is causing harm to others physically. Not all narcissists resort to physical violence, but those who do can leave their victims anxious around people. The victim's fear of the perpetrator returning to inflict more damage can last for years or even decades after the crime was committed. Emotional and physical abuse perpetrated by a narcissist can make victims feel like they've lost their identity. They're also tough to overcome since they can be triggered both in safe and unsafe settings. Because of their upbringing around narcissists, Many people who experience violence harbor strong dislike towards violent people, feeling that they've drained of all humanity. It's disturbing to think that someone can't control their demonic tendencies and vent their pent-up anger. The sin of physical abuse is not easily forgiven or forgotten. Exploitation is the final of the seven deadly sins. Unfortunately, many narcissists view others only as expendable resources. Due to their inflated sense of self-importance and entitlement, they utilize people as disposable means to an end, such as avoiding pursuers or obtaining necessities. In truth, they are not affectionate, compassionate, or humane when it comes to pursuing others. Rather, their focus is on what they can gain from the situation, regardless of the impact on others. By prioritizing their own desires above those of others, they demonstrate that their primary concern is maintaining their own lives. A narcissist perceives other people as objects to be utilized for their own benefit, whether financially or sexually. This is a complicated issue that we will delve into further in future episodes. For now, I hope you gained some new insights on the seven deadly sins of narcissists and enjoyed our discussion of them. Please share your thoughts in the section below if you could. And if you found this information helpful, please consider sharing it with others. Have a pleasant day till we meet again.